back years ago when I used to do quite a bit of speaking for groups, I used to do this really cool activity. And typically at the beginning, because it would be a great opportunity for people to connect with one another and really see what who else was in the audience. But what I would do is I would ask everybody to get up and mill around the room and give out three genuine compliments. It could be compliments about anything, what they were wearing, if they know the person, it could be something about their character or their personality that they really love and appreciate. And the only rule was once you gave the compliment to someone, all you could do was receive it and just say thank you. And it was really interesting what would happen even before people went out to do the activity because they would already be thinking to myself, oh my gosh, it's going to be so uncomfortable to receive a compliment from someone and not automatically toss it right back at them because isn't that what we do so often? Somebody offers us something, whether it be a compliment or some help or maybe it's even some type of a gift. And in our minds, we automatically think, I have to give something back to that person. It's this tit for tat mentality. I don't know where it came from, but it is absolutely very scarcity based. I'm sure all of us can probably think back to times in our childhood when we were taught, you know, if somebody gives you something, you always need to make sure that you have that mental note taken so that you can reciprocate However, it's not about reciprocation. It is about receiving. And I was on a walk the other day, and I can't remember if I talked about this before on the show last week, because it was a pretty profound moment. But as I was walking my dogs and had been in a really shitty mind space and needed to get out and notice abundance in nature and just be with my dogs. I think I did talk about taking my dogs for a walk was kind of my way of spreading love. Um, it was a way for me to get unstuck that day. And the message I got from God was receive, receive. I put so much energy out into other people and my word of the year is serve. That's never going away. I'm always going to serve. I'm always a big believer in giving and connecting to other people's hearts. And yet there was this belief in there that I can't both serve and receive. And that's what I got abundantly clear about on that walk. And in fact, as soon as I got home, I had an, op an immediate opportunity to receive something that I normally would not be comfortable receiving. And I'll go ahead and tell you what it is because I'm sure you're like, well, what the hell is she talking about? Why is she being so cryptic? I got on a call with two women from my mastermind group and I was stressing out because I was waiting for this check to come in that I've been waiting for for quite a while. As you guys all know, I'm out on my own, own in my business again and I've been waiting for that money to come in before I book two trips and pay for this training or mastermind event that I have coming up in June. And so I've just been in this, feel like I've been in this perpetual state of like waiting for that money to come in. And so I, I put it out there and I said, you know, I just got this download from God that I need to just receive. And yet I'm not receiving and I'm also having a lot of guilt about not having my trips booked because I need to get them booked. I need to get, you know, my flights arranged and all of that stuff because I'm not going to get the best rate. And literally they were both like, well, we'll get your flights. We got plenty of miles that we can just gift you. And so they immediately gave me an opportunity to receive, which I really took only halfway advantage of because one of them booked a f one flight for me with her points and she was going to book the other one and I got my check. And so I went ahead and booked the other one. So I didn't even like fully receive that. In fact, she totally called me out on it in an email and said, uh, I was just waiting for you to tell me what dates you wanted to go. I was going to get that one for you. Anyway, as you can tell, I have an opportunity to be a better receiver. And having that experience was a great reminder for me that I need to be fully in the energy of receiving. I've talked about how I've been tithing on the regular and focused on service. And as I said, I'm now in a place of it's all here. 
I'm surrounded by it and am I letting it land? And I'll tell you, a couple of things have come into my life recently um, that were there before, just like everything. Everything's there. It's just a matter of opening up to allow and receive that got me back interested in a field of work called Access Consciousness. And it was a book that called out to me on my bookshelf. And the book was all about receiving money. And I was like, okay, this is really interesting. And in the book, there are lots and lots of beautiful practices on how to become a better receiver of money and a better receiver of everything. Because many times when we're unwilling to receive money, it's because we're unwilling to receive any and everything. And that's one of the main points that it brings up in the book is when you open up to be willing to receive money, you have to be willing to receive everything. That includes criticism. That includes crappy situations. That includes a scarcity mindset or thought or belief that comes up. You have to be willing to receive it all. You don't have to hold on to it. You don't have to keep it, but you have to be willing to receive it. And if you don't like it, you can release it, but you have to be willing to let it in. And so my question for you is, are you letting whatever it is that you want to create in? Are you fully immersing yourself in the receiving of whatever that is? And I love this concept of full immersion, partially because I studied abroad and that's how I learned the Spanish language. I took Spanish for years and years and years and years. I'm sure this resonates with many of you who took language in school for many, many years, and yet you cannot speak one lick of that language today. Well, I had the same experience until I decided to immerse myself in the language. And I chose to go study abroad my junior year of college, only was only planning to stay for a semester, ended up staying for a year. And I tell people I love to talk and I seriously feel like I did not talk for six months. It was all listening, immersing, downloading, shifting my accent, changing where I placed my tongue on the top of my mouth or how I pursed my lips. So there's a lot of power in that whole idea of immersion. Are you allowing yourself to be fully immersed in receiving? Are you seeing money, opportunities, business, the right people, the right connections all around you and letting them in? Or are they just kind of like out there around you? What, what belief system do you have that could potentially be blocking you from receiving? Now, what th one thing I really love about Access is that it encourages asking questions. And it's literally, in my mind, it's kind of like saying a prayer in, a for in the form of a question. So questions like, what else is possible? Or what is right about this that I'm not getting? Or what must I perceive, know, be, and receive that will allow me to blank? Whatever that blank is that will allow me to receive more money with ease whatever that might be. So it's asking a lot of questions, not necessarily of yourself, but of the universe. And then noticing what thoughts, beliefs, emotions, feelings come up as a result of asking those questions and seeing if you can identify some of the beliefs that might be getting in your way. This is really powerful stuff. And I could probably talk ad nauseum about this. However, I, and I probably will bring it back up on the show in some different ways, but I absolutely recommend that you look up accessconsciousness.com and I'll put a link to their website and also to the book that's been so helpful to me. And if you feel like you're in a place where you're not a very good receiver and you also feel like you're not being the greatness that you are on a regular basis, then schedule a discovery call with me. There are no strings attached. All I promise is that I will be fully present and focused on you, helping you to get more clear about what it is that you want in your life and the things that are in the way of helping you get there. So you can jump on my website, firstleadyou.com, and there's a way for you to schedule. There's a scheduling link right there. Go ahead, jump on, get on my calendar because I would absolutely love to connect with you because I love doing this work. I learn just as much 
through the process of working with my clients as they do through working with me. All right, guys, go out there, receive, receive, receive today. Just because you choose to receive does not mean that you're not going to give also. You're going to do both because you're just that type of person. And hey, go out there and have a great rest of your week and a few early days next week. And I look forward to being back on the show with you next week with some exciting things, some interviews, some new people. It's going to be really, really awesome. And I'm so grateful that you're sharing this journey with me.